nome é Caroline, tenho 9 anos, estudo na escola João Pinheiro, em Caeté. E queria saber por que o corpo da mulher é diferente do homem. If we look under our clothes, Caroline, it's easy to notice how each body is different from another, isn't it? And inside each body, there is also several differences. For example, a lot of people that identify themselves as women have a vagina, that is, a small duct that goes up to the uterus, the organ in which the baby develops. And why do these differences exist? Mm. One of the explanations for all of that is in the genes. They are in the inside of the cell, in the nucleus, and these are really tiny parts of the body. So, the female genes make women's body develop differently from men's since they are in their mother's belly. When people reach puberty, the body changes and other differences between men and women show up in regards to the voice, the emergency of hair and the size of the breasts. That happens, among other things, because of substances called hormones, which are produced in different amounts in men's and women's bodies. Whoa, but hold on! A man is different from another man, and a woman is different from another woman, right? In fact, that happens because of the hormonal productions, the way people live, and other important things in the body development. And these are different among men and among women. Sometimes we hear things such as Boys wear blue and green clothes, as girls like red and pink. Boys are messy and girls are so calm and organized. But are boys and girls really like this? The way each person behaves is for the most part learned at home, at school and through the TV. And that's what makes the way men and women are change from a period of time to another, from a place to another and even from a person to another. The coolest thing of all that is that people aren't born ready. Each person can create their own way of being.